Hello and welcome. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode six of Let's Play the Shek of Almeria. And let's see, where do we leave off last? Uh, I still have a father who is alive. He is in the oublette, blinded, castrated, but still soldiering on. So um, hopefully he dies soon. Is there anything else I can do to him? I wonder. Hmm. Might as well go on a grand hunt. And we could observe Ramadan. Now, Ramadan is going to cost the same amount regardless of anything else. So one thing I was trying to do is get stewardship up so that we could actually have that efficiency build modifier. But uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I'm trying to fabricate evidence right now. Hmm. This only takes half a year to build. That extra one income would be very significant. If I try to figure out exactly how much money I'm making, this thing has a base tax of 5.35. That's the actual amount that it makes. Okay, so 5.35. And then because of the bonuses, it gets up to 6.47. From the 6.47, it gets multiplied by my domain stewardship bonus of 2.8 minus 0.4 for decadence which gets us to 6.33. So if I were to build that structure, that public house, it would give me an extra one base gold. So, just doing a little bit of mental math right now, probably about 1.2 effective gold, and then this is just a, such a small modifier, maybe call it 1.25 gold a year. So I would get my money back in about, I don't know, 50 years. Sounds like a pretty good investment. If I wait, though, for efficiency... Okay, the question becomes, do, you, do I think that I will gain efficiency sometime between now and 50 years from now? Obviously, the answer is yes. In fact, probably very, very soon. So I'm going to wait, even though I'm tempted to start building something. Because there's also the other factor is that you can only be building one thing at a time. So saving up money means that I might reach a point where I have too much money and I can't spend it all. Which would be foolish. So, all right, where were we at? I need to get everything sorted the way that I like, get rid of this stupid map, but I can't figure out how to make that thing go away by default. We only have one holding, so let's hide that for now. And yeah, so hopefully if my father dies, that'll be good. I don't know. I just it's it's just it, I can't stop laughing. It's it doesn't seem to matter how many times I do it. I say something and then 3 seconds later it happens. I mean, how many times in the series have I said I'm going to die? I'm going to die. I'm going to get maimed. I'm going to die. Or whatever. Or I say, "How come I'm not how come my um how come this guy hasn't died yet?" And then the very next thing, "Oh, there's a, a plot fabricator." Uh, or whatever. And so there he goes. My father's dead. So, sorry Flammy. Uh your father has passed. Yah, 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 is dead. Let's see what it says about him. He just died in the dungeons. It doesn't say that he died as a eunuch that was blind. He just died in the dungeons. So we've inherited all that money. Excellent. So we now we've got quite a bit of money. We really need to get to... You can't make anything but girls, can you? Um, we really need to get up to 25 state stewardship. I wonder if I can just maybe, let's search the world for men, not in prison, any marriage, not rulers, and then sort by stewardship. Let's just see if just maybe there's anybody that would accept an invitation to court. And most of these people are going to say no because they're culture, so maybe I should do that. Let's at least make them my religion and my culture. See if we can import a better steward. It's not likely. This early in the game, no one's really going to have any claims. But if there's a chance, I'd like to take it, because I really want that modifier. The other option, of course, is to try to improve stewardship, which is... No, that is my steward. That's not going to happen. All right, well... Are we trying to improve stewardship? We are. My wife... Her stewardship's not very good. Okay, well, we'll just have to make do with what we have. 
Now that I have all this money, what should I do with it? Interesting. I've just potentially gotten an idea. We have enough money to hire some mercenaries. They're very expensive. However, we're so weak with just a single county that it makes me think that if I hired mercenaries and then did a conquest war, I could attack and increase the size of our domain. We might even be able to sneak out. This is the Cordoban Almoravid Conquest of Granada. So the contested title is... Oh, Almoravi, that's that's my guy's dynasty, isn't it? No, we're Abadid. Where's Almoravid? I am there he is. Alright, I am misreading this. Defending against Sheikh Abu al Malik of Kurtuba. Your tuba. This guy is attacking the Sultan, and he's winning. Okay, I actually thought that the Sultan was still attacking Granada. That must have been resolved a while ago. Instead, it looks like this this guy here is assaulting him and winning. So I think what I want to do is actually declare war on him in the conquest of this one, since he is going for. Uh, Oh shoot, he's going for Granada. Damn it! Why can't you go for that one? I can't reach that one. Hmm. We don't have enough men to siege any of that. There's no point. Never mind. It's all for naught. We have a nephew. Son was born to Volcronos. Alright. I don't have any control over the name of that boy. And I could also attack this guy, but this guy is part of my my liege's realm, so I'd rather not, but he doesn't have much power. He actually has a stronger levy than I do, though. Wow, that's a significantly stronger levy. I am so weak. My co-conspirators have fabricated evidence that he's planning a revolt against me. I'm going to lose the trait just. That's unfortunate. But we have an 80% chance of gaining a another castle. We've succeeded. I'm now free to act against him. I think it's worth it. So now we can throw him in prison. Um, in fact, can we just revoke it outright? So lower his opinion of me. How much money do you have? Ooh, you have a lot of money. I don't want his money to leave the realm. So probably the best way to handle this would be to be a tyrant. So we're going to imprison him. Now we can revoke his title, and since he's still a traitor, no one will object. But if I do this now, then um, I'm not 100% positive he'd, if I'd stay his liege. I think that he'd be my prisoner, but he would become the ward or whatever of, of some other court, in which case when he dies, his money goes to them. And I don't want that. If I banish him, my vassals will have a minus 30 opinion modifier, but I'd only have two vassals. I just have the the guy who's running the mosque and the guy that runs the city. So minus 30 from 46 would take him to 16. And this guy would dislike me quite a bit. But I'm I'm gonna take his land too, so let's just do it. Let's go ahead and banish this guy in order to gain all of his money and his title. Now we're at Two out of two. Man, my limit sucks. I'm so bad at stewardship. Losing just, I think, lowered it. Crap. But now we have an extra castle. So that's good. We have a lot of money now. 400 gold. Hmm. Do, do, do. Okay, so we've succeeded in our plot. Now, one thing that's really nice about playing as a Muslim again is that you can hold on to churches. Mosques. In fact, it gives you piety to control a church. So, um, and I'm going to plot to take this guy's title as well. 
I could just outright revoke it, um, and he'd actually let me, but he'd take his money with him, and I want the money. So instead, let's plot his treason as well. Hopefully someone will join me. Yay! The mayor. <laughs> the mayor is still willing to join me. That's funny. You know what's coming up next, right, mayor? <laughs> Flammy is not to be trusted. Intriguing. I will help you. Good. So yeah, so they've both got that minus 30 for... Actually, no, he doesn't. He's irritated. They're not upset about me banishing that guy. Weird. Maybe because he was a traitor, technically, it didn't apply it. Okay, we've succeeded. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually want to act on this right now because I only have room for two holdings. And if I take that, then I'm going to have a minus 50% income modifier for being 50% over my limit, 3 divided by 2. So, I need to wait until my, I, I get one of these improved stewardship events. So in the meantime, let's just put him in prison. And we'll just keep him there for a second. If he dies, we'll just have to plot against somebody else. And now that we're freed up from plotting, perhaps it's time to... What plots can I do against you? I can plot to kill him. Take revenge. I don't think I'm content. Why, why do I have so few options? Wow. An ambitious, ruthless, dis lustful character. Dangerous. I've been reflecting more on how the dual engine works, and I had almost considered making a little Excel spreadsheet that I could use to do quick calculations on event outcomes so that I'd have an idea of what the chances are. Because here's the thing, like I, I don't like the fact that you have no idea. Like you have a general idea because you can look at your stats and look at his traits, but it doesn't show the percentages. Like right here when I look at this it says, you know, this is the outcome. That's something else. What is that? What just happened? Good crops. Castle tax plus eighty percent. This lasts for just just one year. Awesome. That's huge. Both of these should benefit from it. Nice. And if we held the church, they'd get 60%. He does get 60%, but if I held it, we'd get 60%. Wow. Okay, that's good. So anyway, um, but like, like, say this hunting event that I've just started, which apparently had no actual events happen. Let's go ahead and observe Ramadan. We might as well. Let's get our decadence down. Be a good idea to start doing that. Do we want to voluntarily give to six point? Yeah, let's do that. Give to charity. But am I just going to finish my train of thought? So, so basically, like you know what the outcomes are going to be. Like, oh, fifty percent chance to become just, twenty percent chance to become cynical, etc. But with the dual engine, it doesn't have any tooltip, and the reason it doesn't have any tooltip is because it's a variable. It changes. The reason you can tell with the other events is that they're static. Regardless of st your stats or anything else, that is the outcome. So in the files, there's this thing called a um, um, a list option or something. And so that's how they're able to, to list out what your choices are and what the exact outcomes are. But because there's this variable with the dual engine, that's why they have to offload the calculation to e-rebels and allow the, the AI to decide. Otherwise, they couldn't make it ra like factored on traits and stats. They could just make it random, like 75% chance of success, 20% chance of failure, 5% chance of death, or something like that, but that's stupid. But what I'd like is just like something so that you could see what the numbers are, and like a little spreadsheet where it would multiply out, okay, so tough soldier. I know now from memory, tough soldier gives me a multiplier of 6. Trained fighter gives me a multiplier, I think, of 3. Uh, deceitful gives me a multiplier of 1.5. So like I'm, I'm starting to get it memorized, but I might make that spreadsheet. We'll see. So, yeah, he heard about me giving to charity and it increased my opinion with him. Gained 25 extra piety on top of the piety we already gained. So that's nice. As a cynical unbeliever, you do your best to uphold the appearance of observing the fast. But behind closed doors, you do not think twice about eating and drinking to your heart's content, be it day or night. One day you are caught in the act. So because I'm cynical, this is my only 
thing. It just I lose I lose some piety, gain one decadence. Of course, we lost decadence for doing Ramadan. You have been uh, you have given generously to the poor during Ramadan and performed many good deeds. The urge to help those in need comes naturally to you. I become charitable. Wonderful. Now is the time for prayers and devoted reading of the Quran. After the sun has set, you recite the Quran through Tarawih, Tarawih prayers. Yes, let's do that. So far, we've lowered our decadence by about 3%. And do we want to have a feast? The feast can cause you to die, but let's do it anyway. Distribute some alms to the poor, sure. Do we want my wives to like me better for 12 gold? All of them, one of them, or none of them? Hmm. Well, let's check. This one is... I can't change her culture, but she is Sunni, so I'm happy with her. That one's dead. This one is a Catholic. Her opinion of me is not high enough for me to convert. So I would like her to like me better, so I could convert her. This one's also Catholic. This one's also... I have a lot of Catholic women in my court. <laughs> let's do that and see if they'll convert now. Embrace the Sunni religion, my wife. Wives, all of you. Excellent, so all three have converted. That'll make them like me better, which means they're less likely to plot to kill me. They'll still shag me, regardless of whether or not they like me, but now they will not try to stab me during the act. Right, so I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thanks so much for watching. See you again in the next video.